We're going to continue with day two of this trail. We're able to get uh, the bolts or the bolt fixed, the nut on there. And now we're going to be hitting the trail. We're going to go down the highway, hit that trail that uh, Rex broke down on last time. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to head out there and then uh, hopefully get to Vegas today. That'll be great. And uh, we got some pretty sweet rigs that are going to be getting it done today. All right, just finished airing down. We are gonna be heading out that way. Over there. That peak, way back over there. That's where we're heading. Oh, and check this out. So I got my Goth Freedom flag on. He's got his Goth Freedom flag on too. That's what I'm talking about. America. <laughs> so we're gonna be heading way out over in that direction. And uh, yeah, come join us for the journey. So we're not we're not trying to damage anything. It was unlocked. But look at this. This is a sweet little cabin. Oh, this would be a great thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. You got cash in there. Oh, look that is cool. You know the things that you discover with stuff like this is pretty rad. There's some cash here on the table. I wonder if that's what you're supposed to leave if you stay here or something is. Just uh, leave a tip or something for whoever's place this is. This is, awesome. this is pretty freaking cool. Let's see. So they got calendar here with people like saying they were here. That's awesome. Close. Man, what a place. This Close. is pretty dang cool. Whoever owns this place. Close. <laughs> I don't know where he went. <laughs> Whoever owns this place is, this is pretty legit. Love it. It is an awesome little stop. 
All right, October 31st. I got my grandma wood pegs. Brady Cox, AKA Renegade HQ. We were here. Add a dollar to the pile. Thank you, whoever owns this place. We're gonna, we are gonna stop for lunch. We are in the middle of nothingness. But we were gonna go this way, but that actually has a sign on it right here that says private road. So we're not allowed to go that way. Well, technically we could, but we might get in trouble. So we're gonna go on the main road that's out that way. It'll cut our trip just a little bit short, but it'll still be all right. We're actually gonna pop out a few miles south of Mesquite about five to 10 miles south, so that'll be pretty awesome. What were you saying, Rex? So we can always take a side wash road again. Yeah. Wash wander. Wash wandering. Yeah. What uh, What about this being your uh, one of your it's bucket lists? Bucket list, just being out in the middle of the desert, right dead in the middle, sitting down and pausing a minute and eating lunch, just enjoying the vast. All right, let's get some food. Okay, so we're not gonna be going down the private road. We're gonna be going down this one back over here. But that's actually gonna take us down uh, probably five, 10 miles south of Mesquite. And then we're gonna uh, keep in the uh, on the trails, ride next to I-15 on some of these kinds of trails for 15 miles or so. And then we're gonna pop back up uh, into uh, the trail that I have already mapped. So we'll be able to, I think, kind of skirt around the private road area, hopefully. So let's get going now that lunch is done. We actually found a road around that private road to get onto the trail that I marked. So we're on it and it's gonna be a good time. Just went through the wash and it was fun. So we're gonna keep on and keeping on. Over to the right now that I was hoping to fly my drone up here to get the amazing views that were on top of this peak. It was extremely windy and would not allow us to fly. So enjoy the pictures. Views like this are the reason we explore.
trail. We're heading back to St. George and we're gonna eat at Olive Garden. So we're gonna get a good feast in. Lots of breadsticks, right? Appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Hopefully you enjoyed the adventure. More to come down here in Utah and around the area. Appreciate it. Talk to you on the next one.